Welcome to Wollongong. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I found my way down, as you can see, to the waterfront. And I thought I would do a little walk and talk here in Wollongong. I'm actually staying in a community not too far from here. And look at this. This is what you would call a rock pool here in Australia. And there's no shortage of rock pools and the various coastal towns that you'll travel. And it's a, uh, right now it is actually a summer evening, going on an evening, transitioning from afternoon to evening. And I thought I would just take you for a little, little walk through this portion of, of Wollongong. Wollongong is actually a rather large city or a good sized city and I just sent, spent a little bit of time trying to navigate my way through the streets of the what they would call the CBD Central Business District and I thought I'd come down here to the waterfront you'll see a lot of pictures a lot of aerial shots of this beautiful stretch of coastline just about an hour south of Sydney and unfortunately I was hoping to share with you a spectacular view of this swimming pool up here this public swimming pool that is uh, supposed to be well it's 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 when it's filled I would imagine that it would just be really a really a sight to see but unfortunately as it is right now as they were doing the pool down uh, down there where I'm staying they're they're cleaning it so they've drained they've drained the pool and they're in the process of uh, probably pressure washing the, the sides of the pool and what have you. Maybe they'll even be painting the, the pool. But I'm just gonna do what I like to do and that is a walk and talk. And just around the corner from this pool would be the, uh, would be the harbor. And something that was rather interesting that I learned about Wollongong today was that Wollongong actually has two lighthouses, whereas a lot of cities would have one one lighthouse. Wollongong has has two lighthouses. Now I don't know the story behind the uh, the necessity of two lighthouses, but I'm sure there is one, and you could probably Google it and find out. But what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'm just going to walk from where I'm at right now, walk down along the the park. There's a beautiful park up here, just just right. Uh, right alongside the harbor and work my way out to the work my way out to the lighthouse if I'm uh, if I'm able to which I certainly think that I would be rather a nice evening today temperature is probably in the lower lower to mid 70s I would imagine so here is your here's your harbor right here Look at this. I wasn't quite sure what to expect of Wollongong. I've heard different things. As people have uh, told me their various opinions about this city just south of uh, just south of Sydney. All right, so we'll continue along and join back in up at the uh, up at the actual park. I was walking along and I saw all of these these boats and kayaks and paddle boards and surfboards lined up against the wall here and I thought that seemed kind of odd. And then uh, as just as one would lock their, their bicycle up at a bike rack, all of these boats and uh, what have you are, are chained. Look at that. So you have a boat, you just bring it down and and you chain it up until the next time you go out. And coming up here, they have a rather nice, rather nice park with a with a sandy beach. No shortages of sandy beaches in Australia, that's for sure. Well, I've come to the Belmore Basin. I'm not sure if that's the name of the the park, but you can see there's rather nice uh, housing development right over there, condos. There's 
actually quite uh, quite beautiful and then there's several other buildings here along the waterfront where you might uh, end up calling calling home and then just up here there's a there's a restaurant one thing I'm noticing is all of the individuals walking their dogs which is really a nice sight to see another interesting thing that I'm sure hasn't gone unnoticed by a lot of people considering the time that I'm actually filming this here in 2021 is the, the sense of uh, well just the, the sense of, of normalcy among those here enjoying a nice summer afternoon insofar as the unfortunate pandemic that's been happening in the world Australia has fared quite well see the restaurant right up there folks enjoying a nice nice bite to eat I think the name of that restaurant is Lavandi. Off in the distance, there's a gentleman coming in on a on a paddle board. This caught my attention a little bit earlier, and it's a it's a tree here. And normally, I wouldn't think to share the tree with with the exception of the fact that. There's a big, there's a big sign right here, and the sign says, The beauty of trees, these much-loved coastal tea trees were devastatingly vandalized under the cover of darkness. In 2020, so many in our community were distressed by this act. These trees had their bark worn smooth by generations of children climbing on their branches. They offered welcome shade, photographic inspiration, and sheltered wildlife. We hope they will survive. Our arborists will closely monitor them over the next 18 months. Look at that. So their bark was stripped smooth by kids walking on them. And they're trying to trying to save them. Actually quite beautiful trees. up here you have a playground for the little ones no shortage of playgrounds in Australia there's another interesting piece of wood there's another view of the same harbor from up on a, a restaurant looking out over over the vessels and the lighthouse out over there and the uh, the other lighthouse is just up over this way and perhaps they perhaps they had lighthouses two lighthouses because the different angles and heights of the of the shoreline so we'll go right up the right up the steps and I believe up at the top is a uh, rather nice green park the beautiful flowers I don't think I've seen this flower in my travels. Look at that. Oh, Gunna, I need that Gunna. Yeah? Hang on. Gunna. For my paint. Sorry. Hello. You alright? I need this Gunna. Okay. Look at this park here.
very nice big nice wide open lawn spaces wouldn't surprise me if they've got barbecues up here as you often see in parks such as this one well I've made it to the other other lighthouse and I'm actually on the Wollongong Harbor History Walk this is spot number nine and they say Flagstaff Hill or Point was named after the flagstaff erected on this headland. Flags were hoisted to inform settlers of shipping movements and to warn incoming ships of sea conditions at the harbor mouth. For a time, the name Signal Hill was also applied to this site. So, there you have it. Just over here you'll see another view of a beach on the other side of this, this hill. And if you look closely off in the distance, perhaps you can't see it, but there's no shortage of smokestacks out there. So this is a uh, very much an industrial town, working man's town, as I've been told, by, uh, by quite a few people. No, nothing wrong, though, with, uh, with the working man. That's what made uh, so many of our cities great. Alright, so we'll see what else we can share on the way, way back. <laughs>